And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the Z adventure with Pike. Now, if you uh, watched the end of our previous adventure against Ezreal, you saw that we finished the Ezreal adventure with 75 reputation points to go t in order to get this new starting power. We were, we were a little short. So what we did uh, between those is we actually went back and replayed the Lulu adventure again, which you get 100 reputation for beating, and we just tried as, as a speed run and we got really lucky on our speed run we got mana flow as our first power and then we got poppy as our champion uh as our other champion and so yeah <laughs> we had poppy on round three you know attacking all the time and so yeah we we actually finished it in 15 minutes that was a fast speed run um so we got our 100 reputation so now we're gonna have this broken new starting power that i'm looking forward to whenever we go into the last three champions you know, Zed, Nautilus, and Victor, which are like the, the harder ones in their region. So this one's game start. Grant all of the lurkers into your deck plus one, plus one, right? So every lurker, including Pike and everybody else, get plus one, plus one. And then all of our non-lurker allies will then become lurkers. So um, now we can lurk a lot more often. Now we can, whenever we're going through the adventure and we're looking at different um, allies to grab, we don't have to worry about if they have lurk or not because they will all have lurk and so that's a big big improvement to the deck so we still have it we have a common relic slot and so for our common relic slot we're thinking of using the ravenous hydra that's what we used the last time uh when we just did this quick the quick run and the ravenous hydra was really good because it says you know when i'm summoned deal one to all enemies that does count as pike dealing that damage that does help your pike level up so i, I really liked that so we're gonna go ahead and just keep that all right, so let's head on over to Zed. So all of their attacking units will have plus one, plus zero. No big deal. Okay, we'll see what our first power is going to be. Really not very good powers. These are all ones that I do not care to take, so we're going to use one of our first two rerolls. These are all ones that I do not care to take, so we're going to use our second reroll. These are all ones that I do not care for. I think the best thing that we got is just getting a sparring student. I think that that's, that's going to be the best that we got. So looks like we're going to just have a sparring student to start off with. I guess the sparring student... I don't think the sparring student will be a lurker, I don't think. I think that power is only for the things in our deck. So we'll have one drop hatchling. Wait, what do you do? You get a random one cost Poro? Alright, you can go away. You can keep the petty officer. Okay, yeah, it does it will not be a lurker. Give me a sweet bun. Titans the senses. We'll just trade that for the, their one drop. I think that's okay. Let's do that trade. It's not a very good power. That just kills like their first one mana two one. That is not a very good power. So if I don't trade there, our sparring student will go to a three three after this petty officer. Whoa, we got a pike! I didn't even notice that, that we got death from below. Yes. Let me use that death from below. Alright, get a nice 6 out of 15. Towards the level up. Alright, you'll just walk there. Okay, another pike. In case something happens to this one. Oh, 
What will you become? Just gotta figure out how to do three more damage. So then playing that Tail Cloak Matriarch really did nothing. What will you become? Cloak. Hmm. I guess I should have waited. I, mean, I got the lurk in, but yeah. So Pike's level up counts this relic of do do one to all enemies. Like that's really cool. Okay, so we got the first one done. We're still at 27. That's very good. These these first few levels with Zed can be really tricky and can be pretty difficult. Like you can, you can get behind in them for sure. No more rerolls. All right, so the Sharklings. I'll just get more Sharklings, because they're one mana two threes that, you know, have Lurk and Grow. Alright, who do we got for reinforcements? Riven, Aurelia, or Lee Sin? I wish, if if we had, like, the power that, like, everything that was three or less had Lurk, then I would definitely take the Aurelia. So that then our all of our blades would, you know, grow and everything like that, but we don't have that. So I guess I'm going to go with the Riven, I guess. Or even give like overwhelm and stuff. I guess we do get the free attacks for Lurk, that is true. Alright, so wait, this way is a gold chest. Oh, I already chose this way. I Oh, I didn't look at what what we had. Alright, so I guess we're going this way. <laughs> I just kinda clicked on it like while I was talking. Yeah, so we could still lurk off round because of the not be really because of Aurelia, but because of the other stuff. Yeah, because, like, the blade dancing. So that's true. Okay, so this is the longer way that gives us more rewards. And so we're not really speedrunning this round. I want the rewards. I'm gonna attack here, because I think that they play like the one mana 4-3 ephemeral if I just if I play this first. So we missed our lurk. That means we got a spell on top. Alright, happy to trade away the sparring student. That's, that has been a plus to the sparring student, that it has been something that's been easy to trade away. I was born in battle and raised by war. And yeah, the, see, there's the Shadow Fiend. That's why I didn't play something before attack last time. Should have just done that again. Should have just open attack. Alright, so we gotta. So that's what we learned for the Surrender Shadow Blade. We gotta open attack. Okay, so we can kind of assume they're going to use Death Mark. Which they do. Alright, so that thing can't block. We're taking six. We'll give the Ephemeral back to that thing. Pike yet. Pierce the darkness. Yeah, it is a lot of damage. Ugh. 
Okay, we're gonna have to do some blocking. Here I don't I don't want to take any more damage. They're at five. I think we should be able to kill them from five either way. You're already vulnerable. We shall make you vulnerable. And I guess we put... I guess we draw a snap draw swarm that can get us another attack step in case something goes wrong with this one. Alright, we're gonna give you plus two plus zero. We're gonna give uh, you. Attack. Give you overwhelm. I am So still at 17. Okay. At last, a way forward. Not too bad, but you know, it took 10. So not too great either. I don't know if I love Riven being our other champion. Decimate draws a card. Aver Avatar of the Tides? Man, we are we are not getting good rewards in any of these. I don't I don't really like any of these. I guess we can just take a four mana five four, I guess. That's, you know, again, a lurker. Alright. Don't love any of this. It's not having the best round, but if we find, like, Trifarian Might for a power, though, with, like, all of our things having lurker and being so large and everything like that, like, a Trifarian Might power would be really nice to have. I want to keep a pike. I think pike's a good card. When I go to the elite side, um, I honestly this this time, yeah, because that wasn't much of a reward. Uh, to be honest, this time I actually just clicked over here while I was talking, and um, yeah, so I kind of you know kind of misclicked. To serve the greater good. To be honest. Today you are King Kuhn. Three four. Yeah, we usually go to the elite side. So yeah, I guess this is the more difficult side. We can have some more rewards for us as well. Okay, we'll probably just trade away... You know, again, this doesn't matter, but I just want bodies in play. I'll probably just trade away the sparring students. Because we definitely do not want to take that. We are already down to nine. Nine's not very much. Fourteen. We do have some removal spells for like some elusives. Or shadow. Old masks let young eyes see clearly. I just might as well see if they play another thing. <laughs> I sure hope this works. Okay. And now we will just open attack. Hit lurk, very good. Now Oh wow, give him all ephemeral.
Okay, still alive. Not by much, though. We're not alive by much. Who's the mid bosses? Who? Fiora? The Dreadway. You know, the Dreadway can add up to be a lot of damage, but it is an 8 mana card. I kind of like the Guile, like Stun Predict. That's not too bad, especially against like a Zed or something, you know, like you just slow it. Like, that's a good card to just kind of slow them down. But it's not a Lurker. The Dreadway would be a Lurker. The Starlight Epiphany heals my Nexus, but it's, you know, the worst card. We're gonna go for the Guile. We're gonna go for the one mana card. Stun Predict. It's still, even though it's a, even though it's a rare and not a common, it's still only 25% health. Alright, we can cut Chum the Waters. So we cut a non-lurker from our deck. I'm probably risking it only being at 9 health. I'm definitely risking it only being at 9 health. But if we can just get past Fioro, we get to reheal. And then life is better. They have the attack token round one. I'm kind of hoping they're done with elusives. You know, Fey Blade Twirler, I don't think we'll have elusive. Hmm, famous last words. Yeah, famous last words. That's just saving one life. of elusives. Come on, block my 3-1. At least the sparring student just eats up their power. What are they doing with all these elusives? attack and they get much bigger. Why did I not remember that? Oh, me, oh, me, oh, me, oh, me, oh, me. Carry your own gear. Okay, we're down to two. My fleet Life's not dead. Two life not dead. No greater gift than knowledge. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Pick on some of your own speed. Two life not dead. Now we're about to face Fiora. I don't think Fiora will have. Um, at least the sparring student just ate up like their power. Cool. Whew, man, this is this is so close. This is so nail biting. I don't think Fiora is gonna have elusives. At least I hope not. Man, this is nail biting. Okay, they're gonna have. You think that they'll have a round one unit, Cythria? I don't have any rerolls, but I don't want any of these. So Basilisk Rider is just a four five. Snooze Bottoms an O three, but then 
I guess we're going to take Snooze Bottom. We can make something pretty big. All right, Card Shop or Champion Item. So the good part about the Card Shop is we can buy a reroll. So we kind of need some rerolls. Man, I never pass up a Champion Item. We can buy a reroll and find something that heals us. Heal our Nexus? No. Man, I should have just gone to the champion item. These cards are useless. I guess I get a reroll. Vault of Helia heals our Nexus? That card's so bad. Wow. Oh, man. Got a card? No, I should probably heal. Alright, we're up to nine. That was a complete waste. I just, like, that was, like, literally a complete waste. I didn't even, don't even want any of those cards. Yeah, the card shops are pretty bad. I really should I really should have just gone to the champion item. Okay, you go away. And then I can just take a whole, keep a whole bunch of ones. Good. Turn one, one drop. Turn two, double one drop. New recruit reporting in. You won't back down. Okay, trade away that one. Full snooze bottom. We got mono one drops. We got mono one drops. Predict Pike? Pike. No, not Pike. I think we just skip. I could grab this thing, but I think we just skip. We definitely want to hit Lurk. Okay, at least we hit Lurk. Wasn't Pike, though. It's just four mana for a one like they just use the four mana removal spell on one of my one drops oh yeah you want to pass now uh, i guess i have to block yeah you can block that one break the ties that bind plus two plus zero so Snooze Bottom is like a three power thing with Overwhelm, plus it makes like another seven power elusive attacker. Or I guess we could spread it out a little bit and go with this guy. Yeah, so still seven power. Could have made it eight if I would have gone with that. Thing. Yeah. All right, we got through Fiora. Even though I just wasted a champion item for no reason. Let's get a new power. Let's heal back up. Okay. I think we're gonna be just fine. Now we got through those first few levels. Those first few levels are rough. Why don't I have more rerolls left? I don't know, I guess you're you're an elusive, I guess. That's cool. More one drops. We saw, we saw the one drops work out pretty well. Ooh, this is tough. Man, saplings. So sap like it's man, it's really nice having saplings, but I like having everything have overwhelm, but I think we're just gonna take some saplings. Okay, now I'm feeling pretty good about this. Now we got some saplings. We got gold chest. I already have way too much gold. Let's go this way. Once your foes cast a 6 plus cost spell, their spells cost 2 less. Sure. Nature's Revenge. 
nature revenge. Okay, mulligan, mulligan, mulligan. You like the design of Zed's deck? It feels like you need it to answer Dawn and Dusk on their big Zed. Okay, now our deck's coming together. We got this sparring student chilling here. We got lots of one drops and lots of lurkers. Uh, yeah, I'm probably not finishing at 30 life. Am I? Probably not. I mean, if I obviously if I take that, I'm not. But. They're down to 19. Soldiers, me. Get a good 2 damage in. Oh, well, 4 3. Focus. Focus. Um, so we should just be able to open attack. We'll have our Nature's Revenge thing challenge that. Let's give a plus two, plus zero to the smallest units. And open attack. Good, hit lurk. All right. Okay, could give, Riven, could give Riven plus two plus zero. I think that's just the best thing here. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just give more copies of Riven. Our Rivens are already going to be pretty big anyway, but that's fine. Oh, we get a new power? I'll take a new power. Cards you draw cost one less this round. I kind of like that. When allies attack nab one, I kind of like that also. I mean, usually I would just mulligan all of these. I wouldn't usually take any of these, but I don't think that we're going to survive damage that much. I think the other two are probably going to be uh, more realistic of like what we want. Um, I, so do we? Would we rather nab or have the you know, like? Would we rather empty our hand faster? I think we, I think we're just like a real aggro deck. I think we just want this quick draw and have whatever cards we draw cost one less that round. Reroll token. All right. Do we have anything we want to buy in the shop? We could get a two three crack shot corsair. That's a you know obviously a lurker. That's good. Some fumes. Meh. Free attacks. Oh, sentry, stun, and free attack? Alright, I'm in there for that. Fortune Croaker drawn a card? I'm in there for that, too. Okay. We're gonna buy some sentries. Free attacks with stun, and deal one and draw a card. I want I want to draw cards. And, you know, like, we have all these cheap cards. We know our cards that we draw cost one less this round. And do we want to take some one-drops also? Or... Crackshot will be a 3-4. Oh, because it's going to be a Lurker, so it gets the other bonus for the Lurker. So it's going to be a 1-mana 3-4 with the Crackshot Corsair bonus. Okay, okay. I'll buy that, too. I'll buy that, too. I'm not scared. All right, going to keep my reroll alive. This way, we got Item Shop, Item Chest, and Card Shop. I'd probably rather go to the item chest than the item shop, so let's go this way. Round start if the foe's weakest ally survive damage this round. Transform it into the next strongest Scythria. That's like a lot of ifs. Ain't gonna have anything gonna survive damage. I mean, if I finish this at 27 and I don't get my S tier health just because I didn't block that 3 2. Oh, 26? Okay, never mind, we good. Alright, I'm gonna send the Blade Squire back also, even though it's a one drop. I'll send it back. Alright, card we draw this round. Yes, cause zero. Hee hee hee. 
Dude, we are aggro. Oh, we missed Lurk. How do we miss Lurk? I have like nothing but Lurkers in my deck. Oh, stupid Bone Skewer. So then, do they get to just block this anyway? Okay. So maybe this stun free attack isn't as... This doesn't play as well as I kind of thought. on free attack. <laughs> okay, this doesn't actually work very well. But we got our free attack for um, the Crack Shot Corsair and for the... Oh, yeah, you have... You have Elusive. Forgot about that. And for the Lurk. Okay, pretty fast, pretty fast. So if we can get just something with like a little bit of life steal, we can just like heal our Nexus for four, because I think that we're gonna be winning these games pretty quickly. But yeah, we still get the free attack to the lurks, so that's not so bad. When I summoned, I capture the strongest enemy. That's pretty good. Attack nab one. I kinda wanna take the attack nab one though. I kinda wanna nab some cards, because I think that like with all these one drops, we're gonna run out of room. I don't usually prioritize nab, but I think we're actually... Let's go and get some nab here. Alright, item chest or card shop. Um, I do have a lot of gold still to spend. I guess we'll go to the rare card shop. Anything to heal my nexus? These cards aren't very good. No, I don't, we don't need anything that costs that much. Reroll... Ooh, double parlay. I want double parlay? Honestly, not really, actually. Yeah, actually, kind of not really. Okay, never mind. Reroll. Um, Arena Battlecaster, that's a 3-3. Three, three. Yes, and then grows the other units? Okay. That's something we can take. We found the good card. It only took us a couple of rerolls and everything. But we got there. I don't need Ravenous Butcher. Well, I guess... I guess I was... Okay, I guess Ravenous Butcher would kill, like, my Challenger anyway, and then it could just be... Lurt. Okay. Eh. Because we're not really casting spells. No, I don't need that. We can just challenge something. Cut a card. Bone Skewer, yes. We don't miss Lurk because that stupid Bone Skewer. Awesome. Alright, dead. Okay, our hand is good except for no, like, one drops. I want to keep these fortune cookers, though. So we're going to send those back, look for some ones. There's a one. Let me find a one drop right here. Perfect. They'll never see me coming. Oh, we don't even have the attack token. So that thing gets, like, bigger now? Or no, it strikes my nexus again. Perfect. Traditions are lost if not passed on. 
Dude, our deck is so aggro. Yoink. <laughs> That's our round two. We're not even gonna have room for our. Yeah, I guess we're just not even gonna have room for the uh, for the challengers. Uh, we'll do damage to you. Uh, let's put you in play. Let's get do more damage to the Nexus. Oh, I gotta replace something. Lame. I guess the three two. I guess. Re-attack. Yeah, we full on aggro. Round four kill. Did we miss Lurk? We did. I only have like one spell left in my deck that misses Lurk. Like, <laughs> But there we go. Going full out aggro. GG, Zed. Yeah, our deck's pretty good whenever we get that new Lurker power. Ooh, Archangel's Staff. Rare. Round start, refill your spell mana. Round start? That's a good one. Whoa, we got S-Speed and S-Wealth? How? I'm surprised we got the S-Wealth. I guess just I guess we bought a lot of stuff. I guess it counts the cards in your deck. We had a lot of cards. Uh, we only had... Our only spell left at the end was just... Wait, do we? Ha what did we have for spells? Like, how did we even miss the Lurk? Oh, the Guile. The Guile is the only card in our deck, just two copies that, that miss Lurk. At the end, this was a pretty sweet little deck at the end. Okay, because we took the long route, that's why we got s walls because we got enough gold from taking the long route. Okay. But didn't get the health. So I have learned that with the health, you know, health you just have to end on 30. No matter what. Doesn't matter how many times you heal or anything like that. Just at the very end, you just have to have 30. You know, just checks whatever your health is at the end. But with the prologue ones, the prologues have skill. And the skill means don't heal ever. It doesn't matter what your health is at the end. Just never heal. And so, like, that, the hard part about that is that mid-boss. Because it auto-heals for you at the mid-boss. So you have to beat the mid-boss with 30 health to get the the skill in the prologues. Yeah, we took the long route and it was 22 and we still got the S speed run. Yeah, that was a pretty sweet little deck. Okay, so we figured it out. We defeated Zed, the Master of Shadows, there with Pike. Now we got two left. We got Nautilus and Victor. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments Hopefully y'all are enjoying these Path of Champions runs. Uh, you know, we're trying to get these S rankings with everybody and leveling up our champions and defeat them all. Uh, which champion do you want to see next after Pike? Let me know in the comment section. Or if you got any questions, comments about Path of Champions, always love to hear those. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you for the next video.